Well, it is wonderful if you have a special talent that is unique, but we have to remember that nobody likes a show off. And the Jungle Cubs are pretty neat characters, don't you think? And Jessie Dines drew this wonderful picture of some of the characters in the Jungle Cubs, and she wrote me a lovely letter where she says that she's eight years old, and she's going into grade four, and she'd like to know how to make a kite. So that got me thinking that kites are wonderful fall projects. Now, on our weekend project segment, I really like to recycle things that we might have lying around the house, use our imaginations, and create wonderful new things. Now, you don't need to go out and buy a kite so that you can go kite flying. Kites are pretty simple. All you need to do is create something that will catch the wind, and that is why kites fly. So, I'm gonna use this as a model for making a kite together. And if you'd like to make a kite with me, here's all you'll need. I'm gonna use an ordinary household garbage bag to be the base of my kite. Now, to strengthen it, to give it some support, I bent a coat hanger and it came apart so that I can use this as a support beam. Or, if you wanna make a stick by joining a whole bunch of popsicle sticks together, that works well. Or if you can find a stick in a park, or maybe some garden stakes. All of those will work great. See what you have lying around the house. Now, what I'm gonna do is cut a shape out of this garbage bag, and you can do any kind of shape you want. I'm gonna cut basically a triangle. Now, there's no limit to what you can do if you use your imagination. Kites can be any kind of shape, any kind of size that you want them to be. I've seen some wonderful kites that were shaped like animals. I saw a fish once, and I saw a butterfly. That was really beautiful. And when it flew, it looked like it was a, just a giant, huge butterfly flying in the sky. And you can decorate your kite with paint or with stickers. You can add tails made out of ribbons or crepe paper. Or if you cut out longer strips of garbage bag plastic, those also make great tails and help them fly. It's all about aerodynamics, which means how well something flies. So I have the base of my kite right here. And I'm gonna use another piece of the kite to attach my string to so that my kite won't fly away on me. So all I'm gonna do is use some ordinary tape. I think I'm gonna use some scotch tape. It sticks really well to plastic. I'm gonna attach this one triangle to my other triangles. There we go, just like that. Now, once again, you can use popsicle sticks or garden stakes or coat hangers or sticks that you can find in a park or in a field to give your kite some support and some strength. And it's so easy, and I hope that you use your imagination to make a kite. Now, this is one that I made out of newspaper and wire coat hangers, and it's a triangle, and it flies pretty well. And here's another one that I haven't tested yet that I made out of a garbage bag, and I just attached some string to it. And as you can see, I used popsicle sticks to make my crossbars. So what do you say? I head out and test this in the field and see if it'll fly. And when we come back, we've got more of the Jungle Cubs.